I hope you and family are in good health. Thank you for your interest in amazing animals. Please subscribe if possible. Sea lions are pinnips characterized by external ear flaps, long foreflippers, the ability to walk on all fours, short, thick hair, and a big chest and belly. Together with the fur seals, they comprise the family Otariidae, eared seals, which contains six extant and one extinct species. Their range extends from the subarctic to tropical waters of the global ocean in both the northern and southern hemispheres, with the notable exception of the northern Atlantic Ocean. Sea lions consume large quantities of food at a time, and are known to eat about 5-8% of their body weight at a single feeding. Sea lions can move around 30 km per hour in water. Three species, the Australian sea lion, the Galapagos sea lion, and the New Zealand sea lion, are listed as endangered. There are many components that make up sea lion physiology, and these processes control aspects of their behavior. Physiology dictates thermoregulation, asthmoregulation, reproduction, metabolic rate, and many other aspects on sea lion ecology, including, but not limited to their ability to dive to great depths. The sea lion's bodies control heart rate, gas exchange, digestion rate, and blood flow to allow individuals to dive for a long period of time and prevent side effects of high pressure at depth. Nutritional stress was considered the most proximate cause of population decline in this species. In New Zealand sea lions, North to south gradients driven by temperature differences were shown to be key factors in the prey mix. Sea lions, with three groups of pinnips, have multiple breeding methods and habits over their families, but they remain relatively universal. Oteriids, or eared sea lions, raise their young, mate, and rest in more earthly land or ice habitats. Their abundance and haul-out behavior have a direct effect on their on-land breeding activity. Their seasonal abundance trend correlates with their breeding period between the austral summer of January to March. Their rookeries populate with newborn pups as well as male and female otariids that remain to defend their territories. At the end of the breeding period males disseminate for food and rest while females remain for nurturing. Other points in the year consist of a mix of ages and genders in the rookeries with haul-out patterns varying monthly. I hope you liked this video, and we will look forward to see you soon. Till then, take care of yourself. Keep smiling.